So guys, this is a topic that we are inevitably going to encounter and many other YouTubers tend to avoid this topic and going into the details just because it doesn't highlight the very best of Tesla. But the truth is, Hardware 3 has reached its limitations and now it's time for Tesla to make the next move and provide that retrofit. This meant that even though the ambition is for full self-driving unsupervised to be running on Hardware 3, they have come to the conclusion that it is just not powerful enough and with the recent switch over to 12.5 end-to-end neural net, it has 8x the processing requirements causing Hardware 3 to fall short behind. Although Tesla has made great achievements with bringing Hardware 3 optimization to the end-to-end -end stack, it was the bottleneck forcing them to eventually slow down development and being that this was the case, it didn't take long after releasing version 12.5.4 that they seemingly stopped rolling out updates and hinted towards ending support altogether. However, during the post-interview of the CyberCab event, Lars and Franz brought many details to the table regarding the future ride-hailing service, and when asked about Hardware 3 vehicles, they confirmed that it was compatible and ready to be added to the fleet. This had left many owners confused and frustrated as they were under the impression that Hardware 3 was capable with all the latest updates and would make its way to being RoboTaxi ready by the end of the year. What adds to the further confusion is that Hardware 3 as a whole isn't necessarily incapable of running some form of self-driving as we have seen during the RoboTaxi event that the CyberCab isn't running any specialized suite of sensors but rather just older Hardware 3 cameras. The likelihood of CyberCab being designed and built during the time frame of Hardware 3 is rather high being that the latest suite of sensors was just recently introduced to newer vehicles over the last two years and given that it was spotted with older sensors while running a fully unsupervised version of full self-driving this means that the limitations of these sensors is less of a factor and more to do with the computer. Now, from the time of the event leading up to today, we noticed a shift in confidence not only by Elon, but by the Tesla engineering teams themselves, having put out a roadmap for the rest of the year, mainly focusing on hardware 4 rather than the older vehicles. In the latest roadmap, they have detailed all the latest items to have been completed, including the Cybertruck improvements, the Wii Robot event, and pushing out the full self-driving version 12.5, 6.1 to over 50,000 customers. These 50,000 customers consisted of only hardware 4 vehicles with most of them being newly built from early 2024. Going down the rest of the list, you will notice that they have mainly prioritized newer models and enhancements for hardware 4 with the exception of one bullet point highlighting old hardware 3 and its improvements for city driving. And not only did they not indicate if it would be on the same branch of 12.5, but instead they have chose to leave the point release field empty, further indicating that the fork is in the software and is still present today. Then for the remainder of the list, it aims at the training models and neural networks being improved in preparation for the release of V13 series of the software, which will bring a staggering 500% improvement over the current builds. So then that brings us back to the point that it seems like they have dropped support for hardware 3. They are making continuous updates to all the latest models with AI4 on board. This means that version 13.3, which is the wide release, this is expected to come in the next couple of weeks and expected that the hardware 3 vehicles are not going to be getting. Honestly, I can see how this would anger a lot of owners as they were under the assumption that their cars were going to be supported. This means that those who have recently subscribed, they were expecting they were going to get version 12.5.6 and then there are people who flat out purchased the software and this is where the majority of the frustration comes from that they were expecting that they are going to get fully unsupervised full self-driving and this was going to be coming with v13 of the software now of course it's always best to be transparent about things and the slight chance of it ever coming to older hardware is extremely low and even though you may get another point or two releases it doesn't mean that tesla will continually update continually optimize and compress the software that was built for the newer more powerful models into a unit into one that is built five six years ago and so less capable now let's say that they even do somehow achieve it and they somehow made it possible to keep pushing out these updates 
you will know and from previous experiences that the performance is subpar to that of hardware 4. The comparisons between both vehicles from owners who have both vehicles say that hardware 3 is a lot worse than hardware 4 onto the day to day task. So now that we set expectations straight and we got that out of the way there is some bright side to all of this at the end of the tunnel and that is Tesla is planning to provide a retrofit to older vehicles to get them onto a more powerful chip being able to run the latest versions of full self-driving. Elon has confirmed for the very first time that if Tesla does not achieve full self-driving capability on hardware 3, the affected vehicles will receive a hardware upgrade. This upgrade will be free of charge for customers who purchase full self-driving and additionally, early Model 3 owners with hardware 2.5 will also be eligible for a free upgrade after purchasing full self-driving. While Elon did not provide any specific details, it remains unclear whether full self-driving subscribers will also qualify for the free hardware upgrade or will it be only limited to those who purchase it outright. No timeline has been given for when such an upgrade might happen nor has Tesla indicated when hardware 3 might actually be considered obsolete. However, the first path is Elon acknowledging that Tesla is not entirely certain if full self-driving will be fully realized with Hardware 3. As of right now, it seems the current strategy is to ensure that full self-driving development is on its path without any delays. They will first get it to work on Hardware 4, then attempt to backport it to Hardware 3. However, if that becomes impossible, they will have to resort to the final steps and that is to provide a retrofit. Now despite these speculations that Hardware 3 might get a direct upgrade to Hardware 4, this scenario sounds unlikely as Hardware 4 has different wiring harnesses and cameras which are not easily interchangeable with Hardware 3 vehicles due to the space and other types of constraints. Instead, Tesla is more likely to develop a brand new chip tailored towards older vehicles where the new board would likely need to deliver the same performance and be open and compatible to all existing ports and wirings. In addition to this, they may go ahead and swap out some of the necessary cameras that are heavily dependent on detailed object tracking. This would be the front facing cameras going from either 0.9 1.2 going all the way up to 5 megapixels. This would be the equivalent of going from 720p on hardware 2.5, 1080p on hardware 3, and finally to 3K quality with hardware 4. So what this means is that it may not be required to swap out every single camera, only the most important ones sitting right in the front which is going to be the one that is mainly in charge of full self driving and all the predictions and path related object tracking. This is where the rest of the cameras can stay the same. So both parts, the computer, the front cameras, both of that is going to be swapped out. And this is probably something Tesla has been working on over the past few months as they found out that Hardware 3 was no longer possible. So yeah, for the time being, Hardware 3 owners are going to have to face the grunt of having a slower software release progress. And I would say that it is the bright side of seeing that Hardware 3 is no longer going to be supported because that means that every single one of you that have an older vehicle is going to be able to jump directly over to the next generation hardware and it's all going to be completely free. But yeah, not like this is anything new and we have covered this in some of the previous videos as they were being updated. But this is just a little update for those of you that are in the moment and are having frustrations whether your car is going to get the latest or not. With the latest software 12.5.6 not coming to your vehicles and now with the announcement of V13 and how it's going to be incredible, it's going to be 500% better. This is probably going to be the case for the next little while and when the time comes, you are going to be able to request that update to hardware 3.5 or hardware 4 and I will be keeping you as updated as possible. As soon as that's available and it drops, I will be letting you guys know first. So make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't done so already. So you'll get notified as soon as I drop a video and then follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE over there. You guys can chat with me. DM me anytime and I will respond as quickly as possible. But this should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.